where we're at now is I'll need to make, uh, because of the modifications I made in this grip, um, I'll need to make a trigger guard. And my plan here is to use a casting process or a sand casting process um, to fabricate this trigger guard. And then what I'll do is I'm going to use this rear tang hole back here and alter the trigger guard to where it's just going to be here. And then I'll drill a hole through here for the rear tang screw then to go through both the trigger guard, the rear trigger plate, and a fix up into the top of the receiver. So from here, we'll go to the furnace, fire it up. This is all a new process for me, so I've got a couple different metals I'm going to experiment with. All right, so what we're going to do now is we've, uh, this is a Petro band uh, sand, um, and I've packed it down in here. And what we want to do is make an impression of this trigger guard. So the first thing we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of douse it with All right, so now we're going to do, I'm just going to sprinkle this talc that does is that helps all right so what we'll do now is we'll put the uh, top part of this mold on here do all this in here I've gone over just a little bit on my temperature of 700 degrees. I'm new to working with this, and so I'm uh, ex I'm sort of experimenting here with the temperatures. It should really only be about 500 degrees. I had a little bit of difficulty here on the uh, settings, and so I went with a uh, low heat here to get me started. Uh, hopefully, this is uh, going to work. So that pewter looks like it's ready to. All right, so finishing up, what I did was I cast with uh, pewter. Pewter seemed to be um, too flimsy, so I went ahead and did it again with aluminum. Uh, aluminum needed to get up to about 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit, and this furnace handled it without any problem. And this is the uh, scene casting result uh, that I got. Looks rough in lots of places, uh, but for what I'm going to be doing with this is um, trimming this off, 
uh, getting my uh, rounded area here. So this actually end up being a template for the trigger guard, the final trigger guard, which I'll use uh, 316 stainless uh, to fabricate that. But this is uh, the result of a sand casting process that, uh, that I just did.